welcome back to my channel. Today's video for Ashtoberfest 4 is going to be on this mummy look. I just exposed that I cut my ear out here. The tea of it all. My ear was hurting in here, so I cut it out. Anyways, this look was actually a recreation of the D'Andre Ghoul Scouts. They drew up a few years back. I've always wanted to recreate one of those looks, and so I'm so excited that I got to do that this year. I was gonna put in contacts for this look, but to be honest, first of all, I couldn't get them in. Second, I thought I had the contacts that were like white and then mesh, but the only ones I have are all mesh, which didn't fit with this look. I didn't think so. When you see photos of this look on Instagram and my eyes look a little bit different, just mind your business, okay? <laughs> It hurt my eyes to put them in and I didn't want to ruin this makeup. So this look is super easy to create. It costs almost nothing. You can wear anything with it. I just chose an all white outfit. I thought it would look the best. You can wear shorts. You could just wrap yourself in gauze and wear like a tube top and like biker shorts and just get some more gauze. I tried to like wrap myself down here with gauze, but it keeps falling down over my boobs. So I put some here around my arms and around my neck very lightly. You know, I was really going for like mummy vibes, but I kind of look like the mom who just got plastic surgery in that movie, I think it's called Mama. This look is gonna be pretty quick, so before we get into it, don't forget to enter today's giveaway on Instagram. You can also check out Ashtoberfest for merch if you haven't already. I leave everything linked down in the description box so it's very easy to find anything that you're looking for. Hang out with me in the comments while you're watching and welcome to Ashtoberfest. I decided to do a mummy look today because my skin is breaking out so bad. I have like a little bump right here that hurts so bad to touch. Because of the body paint that I used, my skin just had this reaction to it and I picked a little bit at it because I was being bad. But I wanted to do this look because I'm going to cover my entire face with gauze. <laughs> so to get started, I don't even need to really prep or do anything to my face. I'm actually going to do my eyes first. And I'm gonna be using my Natasha Denona Gold Palette. Now obviously, please don't feel the need to go get this palette, it's expensive. It just has both the colors that I want for today's look. I want to use the blues and kind of these greeny gold shades. So, tons of dupes out there. Don't feel the need to go buy this. And first I'm gonna prime using my Fenty Pro Filter Eye Primer. I'm just gonna go right in with that dark blue shade and pack it on the outer corner. Then I'm just gonna slowly blend it up towards my brow. I am gonna clean this up out here and kind of wing it out so it can be a little messy. Next I'm gonna take the shade Brass and I'm just gonna put that on the inner portion of my eye towards the inner corner. Over top of the blue, I'm gonna add a little bit of shimmer kind of in the center using the shade Aurora from the palette. Just to add a little bit more glitter, you could just use any type of blue shimmer. I'm just gonna clean up any fallout from the shadows. One good thing about this look is your brows are going to be covered, so you don't even need to fill them in. Hallelujah. For foundation, I'm going to use something a little bit lighter than usual, so I'm going in with the lightest I have, which is the Born This Way Too Faced Foundation in the shade Cloud. I'm actually going to use a brush for this today. Going in with a super light concealer, this is Fair Neutral, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. And this stuff is kind of unnecessary because it's all going to be covered up anyways, but what the hell, why not? Next I'm going to set using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm just going to use some clear brow gel just to, just to get my brow hairs lifted and kind of out of the way. They're gonna be mostly covered, so 
not too worried about it. Since my entire face is gonna be covered in gauze, I don't need to do any type of contour, blush, highlight, nothing. These are poking through that foundation stone. Don't pick your skin, this is what happens. Next, I'm just gonna line my lower lash line. I'm gonna be using Alkaline by Urban Decay just for a little like pop of color. I say that as I have gold and dark blue on my eyes. <laughs> okay, for the lower lash line, I'm just gonna be taking this blue shade and putting it down here, and I'm gonna add a little bit of the gold to the inner corner, I think. I'm gonna take a little bit of that blue shimmer and put it down here as well. Shimmery, cute. And then I'm gonna go back in with brass and just apply that to the inner corner. So in my reference photo, she has kind of like a winged liner and then it curves down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna speed it up because it could take a minute to do. So this is the finished liner, probably a little uneven, I just eyeballed it. So if you're going to be wearing this look, maybe practice it or draw it out with like a white liner first and then fill it in. If you do mess up, it is easy to wipe away. I did mess up this at first, one of these sides, and I wiped it off and redid it. So good to go. I'm going to add some mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. Lashes are done. I use Slayer by Rouge and Rogue. I do have a discount code with Rouge and Rogue if you want to try some out for yourself. They are some of my favorite eyelashes. I've used them for years. So last up for makeup is lipstick and I'm going to be trying out Requiem by Anastasia Beverly Hills and see if I like it or not. Just for fun, I'm going to see what it looks like with some shimmer over top. What's cool about this look is you can do it with any color scheme you want. You could follow what DeAndre did and do kind of like a black, reddish, brown, grayish type of situation. Or you can mix it up and do blue and gold. You could do any color scheme that you want and I think that's what makes this look, that's what makes this look so cool. All right, so that is it for makeup. For hair, I'm gonna be putting my hair up in a high bun. So I wanted to use a black ponytail, so I picked this up at Sally's. It's just Color Bomb Explosive Black. I don't want to ruin my shirt, so I'm going to wrap myself. And hope this doesn't actually dye my hair. I just washed my hair today, too. That's going to be good enough for me because I am going to be wrapping my head up. I just got a ton of gauze. On Amazon I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping my head with this this is giving me like lip injections I think I did it a little bit too tight anyways I'm gonna be putting on this hair extension ponytail this is from foxy locks and it's super easy to install so it comes like this so it has velcro so you just want to velcro it together and then grab that long piece here and wrap it around obviously this would look better if your hair is black, but I'm going to spray that down. Then all you need is a bobby pin. If it was black, that'd be great, but we can't all be winners here. <laughs> and there you have it. I'm just going to spray right here. So if that's the ponytail. I think I'm going to go and curl this a little bit so it's not so flat. And I will show you guys my costume. So basically for this look, I'm just wearing all white. I found some white vinyl pants that had some cute zippers on them. 
So I decided to pair that with this top I found on Amazon that had a bunch of slits in it. I thought it kind of had mummy vibes. For shoes, I'm wearing the same white sock boots that I wore in the Ashley O costume video. And that's pretty much it for the outfit that I wore with this costume. You could pretty much wear anything all white. You could also wrap yourself in gauze if you wanted to. There really are a ton of different ways you can make this costume really cool and unique. But this is what I put together. So this is the completed costume. And I'm so sorry if you can hear my AC blowing and it's loud. It is so hot in this right now. I, I did this a little too tight under here. So I'm feeling... <laughs> A little claustrophobic but if you um plan to do this just don't like wrap it tight like i did i did a little too tight and this sticks without being tight so just go easy on yourself i can still breathe through here through my nose um this isn't the most comfortable costume i'll be honest but it's cute for a photo or if you're only going to be wearing it for a little bit i wouldn't recommend to probably wear this all night long but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to enter today's giveaway on Instagram. Check out the description box for all things giveaway, Ashtoberfest for merch. If you haven't checked it out, will be linked there as well as all the products that I used and links to everything that I have on here. So I really hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.